So right here are two fire alarm pole stations. They're pretty similar except for one difference. This one is double action and this one is single action. Let's take a look at each of them a little bit more. So this right here is the double action pull station. So now I'm gonna demonstrate this. So push in, pull down. Once we pull it down, we see the letters that spell activated. So let's go ahead and reset the pull station. To reset the pull station, you just stick the key in, turn it, and open it up. Once you open it up, the lever right here is spring loaded, so it just pops back up. And some people think you have to flip this switch, but you really don't, you just close it. When you close the pull station, it automatically flips the switch back up to normal. As we can see, the model is BG12L, and this is by Firelight Alarms, and that company is owned by Honeywell, as we can see right there. And that is the double action Firelight BG12L. Now let's take a look at the single action version. So to activate this, all you literally have to do is just pull this handle down. You can't, it doesn't even let you push in. You just have to pull it down. So this is definitely a lot easier pull station to pull. So let's go ahead and demonstrate this. As we can see, activated appears, and it's just the same as the last one. Stick the key in, turn it, and open it. On the inside here, as we can see, BG12SL, the S probably stands for single action. There's the switch, and then all we have to do is close it. There it is. One thing about this pull station that's interesting is on the back, this one actually has pigtail connectors instead of your normal wire terminals. This right here is the box, the single action one came in, and something I find funny is that they actually messed up the labelings. This is not a hex lock reset, this is a key reset. It takes a key to reset, not a hex key. And I think that's actually pretty funny. Now I'm gonna go ahead and test the BG12 SL with an actual fire alarm. The reason I'm doing this is because this is quite an uncommon pull station, and I'm sure some people want to see this in action. All right, here we go. So which one of these would I prefer to be installed in a building? It would be the double action one. Although the single action one is way more ADA compliant, I feel that this could be activated more easily, causing more false alarms. So thank you for watching my video on these, and have a great day.